the parallel board with a heat sink, an extra fan, uh, Giga Ethernet, 5 volt of uh, supply, and on the other side uh, an HDMI connection and a USB connection. The USB connection runs to this hub, uh, a mouse and keyboard, a uh, wire to this Lexicon DA converter and another wire, this one, to a USB keyboard. Well, it's actually a Kurzweil, but you can see here there is no audio connection, no audio here, no digital audio, but only the, uh, the USB MIDI. So we have the mouse and uh, we have uh, the screen here attached to the uh, full HD output of the uh, parallel board. And um, we have started up here a uh, Bristol program, which uh, let me put it big. It's uh, a synthesizer simulation suite which also runs on the dual core ARM of the uh, of the Parallela. We have connected that uh, with all the knobs here. We have connected that with um, Let me start it up again and see it happen. Maybe the interface doesn't like to go full screen. So the, the, the USB MIDI is connected to that program which we just saw, which I'll start up again. There it goes. And um We connect the output of the uh, program, the audio output, to a uh, jack running on Linux, so that it's Ubuntu Linux. The jack is an audio uh, connection and no. jack is connected with the ELSA OUT program which uh, puts the right samples in the Lexicon DA converter. So we have to connect that up again. The ELSA OUT is normally not necessary, that's because of limitations that I didn't remove yet. We see here that the PC3 MIDI is connected to HW column 1, which is this program. Now it's connected, so let's, uh, let's, let's call up a, a patch and play. <coughs> Synthesizer. And the whole thing runs on uh, this on the, on the little board that we saw in the beginning. At the beginning. And nothing else. So there's uh, there's no other computer involved except for the, in the A interface from Lexicon and the uh, USB uh, MIDI interface from the Kurzweil. There is no other uh, hardware included. Of course, we can edit the sound, that's funny. We use Unison. We hear artifacts because uh, the CPU load would get too high for certain parts of the program. Yeah. 
you can see the CPU getting stuck at 50% because that's only one of the two ARM cores which is maxed out because I uh, adjusted the filters to be the highest quality filters. So now work needs to be done to uh, to put the work from uh, the ARM cores like on, on pad computers similar to that 600 megahertz dual core under the main heatsink here into the uh, programmable logic part of the um, of the zinc, which is uh, which, which contains those two ARM cores, and to the special chip on the right, which is an adaptive uh, chip, 16 multi-core chip, and um, I already have a uh, program which uh, connects the two with an audio uh, running in between. I won't show that now. But uh, it doesn't do anything yet, so that needs to accelerate this program we have here to uh, have you know more than one or two voices without errors with the big uh, quality filters and so on, and probably some other uh, speed ups.